and welcome to Free Games Part 356! Today I have prepared for you quite an interesting batch of games, to say the least. So, let us start. The first game for today is... Zombie Builder Defense is an action top-down shooter about surviving the zombie apocalypse. Test your skills against the Onslaught as one of the few remaining humans on Earth and build your base to last, because the Horde will stop at nothing. You can play it solo or in co-op for up to four players. Imposters Countdown it's like Among Us, but in 3D. You can play it with 4 up to 12 people. Alright, you better vote Scott. Oh, you guys. Alright, All right, you got me. You got me. I cannot read this title is an action platformer where you can upgrade your abilities or learn new ones by buying them with gathered tokens. The game is in Japanese, but I tested it if someone who doesn't know Japanese will be able to play it. And the answer is yes. You can easily figure out uh, what you have to do. So if a moron like me did it, so can you! Fuck you! Can he watch? Rich Teddy Adventure is a 3D platformer that combines elements of collecting, puzzle solving, and fighting. It has uh, consumables and power ups that help you along the way. And I also decided to try this one out. And boy, oh boy, this one can and will make you rage. The controls are something you need to uh, get used to. But I had fun. <laughs> Fuck shit! Kurva. Ah, okay, so maybe I didn't have so much fun. Ooh. Ha ha! Shit almost fell. <laughs> no fuck, kurva! I hate this game! Fuck! No! No way I'm here! Well, fuck you, game! The Severn Rising 2222 is a colorful, ha, I said it, point and click adventure set 200 years in the future in the flooded city of Worcester. Why do you say it like that if you spell it like this? And by the Emperor, why do you also say Worcestershire sauce if you spell it like this? I need answers, British people! From that, not much is known. Are we there yet? Not far now. In fact, I think I see it up ahead. Flightmare is a horror game set in a hijacked airplane where an eerie terror lurks in the shadows. With all the other passengers mysteriously dead, your only hope is to unravel the creepy mysteries of the aircraft and avoid the threat. Speaking of an airplane, that reminds me of uh, one of my favorite comedies, titled Airplane. It's a must watch, trust me.
Scare Girl 2 is a first-person horror that takes place in a haunted house where you are trying to collect 10 radials to open a door and escape. Now, that is a plot that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Stellar Stroll is a space adventure game where you collect antimatter to open portals to different worlds. Use gravity and momentum to navigate through planets, asteroids and comets while avoiding black holes and space debris. You are also accompanied yes, accompanied by a doggo. Swords and Crystals is a top-down MMORPG in early access, but the dev is working hard on it, so it will only get better with time. Wicked Times is a hero manager auto-battler RPG that apparently uses real photos. Interesting. Uh, as the game goes on, you face stronger and stronger enemies and you will be given a set of side quests to strengthen your character, what will be needed to make progression in the game. Carball 360 is a game inspired by Rocket League. You can play it with a friend against two AI cars or online against other players. The matches last 60 seconds. Ha! I'm twice as fast. I last 30 seconds. Wait. Earth Kart is a very cool concept because you drive a car or fly a plane in Google Map. Imagine if such game would be made in Unreal Engine 5. Holy moly! That, I mean, yeah, that would be fucking cool. Neon Marble Rust is an early access RTS that you can play solo. Fuck, I did it. Ah, fuck. So, uh, or in multiplayer, you can play as one of three houses. Neon Marble or Rust. Each faction is completely unique with different buildings and units. First Steps is an early access online PvP sci-fi themed third-person shooter with three game modes, uh, three for all, team deathmatch and capture the flag. Although not many people play it. I mean, if it's about games like this, I mean, uh, oh shit, my alarm. But why did I set it? Uh, anyway, as I was saying, if it's about games like this, and I don't mean mean uh, online shooter, but I mean like in the online games overall, uh, it's best to join the developers Discord if they provide one, because that is the best way to find um, organized matches, you know. Fruit Conflict is a, hmm, I guess a fruit collecting game. There you have to uh, avoid things. Uh, can't step on red, apparently. Here you have a cyborg ball being chased by a bat. You have a 30 plus level, a skin and profile shop, a coop mod. Yes, that's there too. A seasonal challenges. And this thing uh, that looks like uh, as if it, it was rolled up by a dung beetle. Yes. Fall of the Stick Knights is a chaotic local PvP multiplayer game which you can play with two to four players. Save the Dungeon is a top-down tower defense game from the perspective of the villain. Upgrade your minions to hold back the relentless hordes of heroes.
Swordsman is an open world third person tower defense which you can play solo or in co-op. We are done for this part. I'm hungry. I don't know what to eat for breakfast. What do you like for your breakfast? Maybe I should ask this at the beginning of the video. Probably would get more suggestions. Maybe I will do that next time. Okay, shut up, TK. Uh, thank you very, very, very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.